Welcome back, DJ Vic Baker with you, Logic Pro 10 beginner's course, and we're continuing our lesson on regions. So we've gone over uh, recording in vocal and understanding how it relates to our project and parent folder. Let's talk a little bit about dragging in uh, a loop or a sample from our hard drive. So I've gone to all files and I've grabbed a little beat sample here. And when I bring it over and drag it and release it, it's going to create another audio track holding that piece of information for us. So if we go back to the project here, we can see that it's actually updated a parent fo uh, folder or file for us on the hard drive, showing the complete file uh, length and information. And again, if we shorten this or lengthen it, it's going to update over here as well. And it's identical to the vocal information. It's non-destructive. It's not hurting what the source material is of the parent file on the hard drive. It's just allowing us to edit it further here within our um, project. So acts almost identical to what we did previously. Just wanted to show you what that looked like bringing it in from your uh, hard drive. Let's take a look at MIDI regions. We can get this guy closed out here. And we'll mute this. And we'll add a software instrument. And it's going to give us our default classic electrical piano. I'm going to control click, create empty MIDI region. Open that up. Now if I double click this, it's going to give us our piano roll. I can just draw in a couple notes here, set up a chord, nothing too fancy. So those guys are muted. Let's see what we've got. So yeah, nothing too spectacular there. But what, what I'm trying to show you is that MIDI's, uh, MIDI regions are just containers to hold notes and hold instructions to pass along to whatever instrument of our choice uh, we're trying to have play for us. You can think of uh, MIDI regions like, uh, I always think of it like a player piano when you see the player pianos with nobody playing but there's maybe a, a roll of paper or something with a bunch of holes in it indicating to the piano what note to play next. It's exactly what a MIDI uh, region is. It's just a container holding those holes within the paper and uh, identifying those and telling the instrument that you have assigned to that channel what to play next and how to play. Let's take a look at uh, drummer track regions. They're a little bit different than what we've already explored here. Remember we can't record on drummer tracks. So you can see when the uh, drummer track is added, we've got the information down here. But it's we can we can edit these a little bit, but we cannot record on the drummer track. What we can do though, we've got wherever we edit, we can go down and, and tell the drummer how to, how we want that, they're dynamic, that how we want him to perform. So watch the audio clip here itself. Let me get rid of some, some of this stuff, get some more real estate going for us here. So let's say on this particular clip, um, I want to make it sound more complex. Do you see how the audio wave changes there as I manipulate? Or if I want it simple, and you just move forward, each one you can treat differently with different treatment. So you'll get a, a simple pattern here. And then this one closer to complex. kind of the idea with drummer tracks is 
you can manipulate the source material just by explaining to the uh, drummer or the different settings here how you want that to sound and it automatically uh, changes in real time up here according to the clip that you're using. So that pretty much wraps up regions within Logic Pro 10. Let's go on uh, and move to the next lesson and start looking at editing tools and ways to edit our, um, our different files.